Hi everybody, Metal here, and welcome to the dark side. <laughs> well, I should say we're going to be doing the dark campaign now, so let's just get jump right into it. Don't need to explain. So, we'll do medium again. Uh, metal. This time, we can actually do the dark campaign, so, because before this was actually locked off, so there's that. Spoopy. Scripted within an ancient tomb which lies hidden beneath centuries of dust in the guarded library of Mechalon, is the story of how the rift was formed. Though most cannot recall a time when the Rift did not divide the Enclave from the Outlands, they were at one time unified. In that time, there were lands which were believed to bear the very essence of magic, for they were lush and prosperous. All who did not hold the secrets of the soil, which were protected by the Pact of G4, coveted these lands fiercely. The great demon, Vatar, knew that with this magic, he would be invincible. He would at last prevail over all. Venomously, he led his army to attack the dwellers of the land to claim it as his own. The battle raged, and the people fell before Vatar's vast army. Victory was so close it could be tasted upon their blackened tongues, as bodies of the defenders lay sprawled about them on the bloody field. Exultantly, Vatar rose to proclaim his triumph. It was then the disaster struck, in the form of a pathetic little wizard called the Mighty Zael. With a roar of anger and anguish, the wizard slashed his staff into the ground. The world trembled and then cracked, parting beneath Vatar's feet. With an outraged scream, the Demon Lord plummeted to the depths, to be consumed by the earth he sought to rule. A chasm grew from this powerful blast of magic, wide and longer than any could measure. It was too vast to be traversed, thus separating the people who fought against Vatar forever. The devastation on the faces of the defenders was a small consolation to the Dregatar, as they retreated to pray for Vatar's return. It is said that time heals wounds, and perhaps it is true. For in the centuries after the land was torn asunder, it appeared that magic began to nip them back together. The rift has grown smaller, and can even be crossed in certain locations. The Regatar, driven by an age-old lust for the land that should belong to them, are now raising their hordes building siege weapons, and preparing for the day when they may take their revenge and possession of the magic lands. On the other side of the rift, the people of Selenheim are strengthening their defenses. They know another war will soon be waged against them. While the armies are being gathered along the border of the rift, the head counselor of Arkmur, Mordessa, is making further preparations. Volunteers are being brought to her for special tasks, and there are rumors about an ancient force about to be awakened, one that has been slumbering for hundreds of years. And it is here that our story begins. Violently shaken from their sleep, the Chosen are taken by hooded figures to an unknown fate. summoned here to do my bidding and prove your devotion to our cause. You should feel honored that you were chosen, for if you please me, you will be rewarded abundantly. However, should you fail, your reward will be eternal pain. Your first mission will be to bring me the Crystal of Everity. It is located in the house that once belonged to Zorana, a former enemy who is now dead. 
The home is still guarded, though, and it may be difficult for you to gain entrance. But that is not of my concern. The crystal can be found in the library. Bring it to me. It may prove useful very soon. And so it begins. The dark side. Anyway. Zeruna's mansion. Zeruna was once an ambitious sorceress who turned into one of the demons she tried to control. Her old mansion is now deserted, but a sorceress barely leaves something of value unprotected. So, Zeruna's crystal, enter the desert mansion and find the crystal of Everasi, Ever Everasi, whatever. Uh, return to the courtyard and into Mordessa's portal. All right, so we gotta go get some. And we start this time with the assassin. And yes, that is what I believe what this character is called. So we gotta get all our goodies. There we go. So we got a standard dagger. They're basically mirror counterparts of the other characters, so she's just in the mirror of the hunters, basically. But we're gonna have to be careful because we don't have that many arrows. Uh, there is a hunter gold in here. I can break. Stuff, which is nice. So, we're gonna have to see carefully. I don't remember dark camping all that well, so do a bear with me when I, when I start looking around for stuff. My volume just down just a tad. I already know what I'm gonna use the thumbnail. I'm gonna use the that chick at the beginning was talking more more sad or whatever. Skulls are a real pain in the ass hit because of their hitbox. Alright, come on. Alright, come on. 
There we go. Oh, annoying. And just because they're hip, they actually do scale down their hitboxes for the skeletons, so it's kind of annoying. Nice. So I'm here. So I'm here. Yeah. Alright, so. What's over here first before I grab that? Hey, there's something in there. A real douchey place to hide stuff, but oh well. stuff and continue on. Alright. In. Uh, what, what's this? Nice. Alright. Alright. I think I might be able to go around actually.
right. skeleton them, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, here we go. You have it? Huh? Yep, I yep, do. Okay, and you must die. Okay, I got two. How in the hell do I shoot that many arrows and not you don't jack shit? Alright, we're gonna whole volley of arrows. There it is. Dick. Get out of here. Alright, we got all of the goods. Now we just need to get out of here. Well, back to start, if I recall. There we go, there is the first mission of the Dark Campaign, so I'll see you on the next level, so we'll see you around. Recovered has great powers. 
I don't think that even Selenheim or the old wizards know of the forgotten portals throughout the realm. With this crystal, I can send you anywhere I desire. Once you are done, I will open another portal for you. I will watch you.